This video tutorial is brought to you by Tipsquirrel.com, the home of the best Photoshop and Lightroom tips. Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and in today's tip we're going to be looking at fixing perspective distortion in your photographs. Whenever you have a flat two-dimensional camera sensor and a three-dimensional world, it's inevitable that you're going to get distortion, and it often takes the form of perspective distortion, such as you see in this image. We have lines that are going at all strange angles, and we'd really like them to be at horizontal and perpendicular angles. Now there are a number of ways to fix this in Photoshop and Lightroom, but I want to show you today a very easy to use tool called the Perspective Crop Tool. This will allow us to both crop and fix the perspective at the same time. We find this tool by going to the toolbar and looking under the Crop Tool, and if I hold the mouse button down, this menu expands, and here we find the Perspective Crop Tool. Once we select this tool, we can go in and drag out a crop rectangle, and I recommend following approximately the border of the area that you want to align to. Now once we've dragged out the crop rectangle, it's time to make our adjustments, and we do that by simply dragging the handles. If we drag a corner handle, we see that this corner moves independently of the other corners in the crop. We can go down to this corner and drag it as well. And we can work our way around this image, aligning these crop lines with the features in the photograph. Now once we've got these lined up, and check these lines in the middle here to make sure that they're lined up as well, we can simply grab the edges and drag them up until we run out of image. So we'll open this up on all four sides, and once we do, we can click the check mark here and commit the crop. It takes a second, and now we've got a cropped image that also has the perspective distortion fixed. Notice these lines are much straighter than before. We can try it again on another image. Here's an outdoor image of a church, and we'll take the same perspective crop tool and we'll drag around the front of the church here. We'll just roughly line it up and then we can go around once again and adjust the corner points so that the crop lines align with the features on this building. Now at this point we've got the four corners lined up, but notice that these lines here don't really align with the slats of wood on the front of this building. So we can drag this corner down until we get those lines in alignment. And now we can see, sure enough, they're in much better alignment. And once we've got the alignment complete, we can go ahead and drag the borders out once again to expand to the maximum amount of usable image that we can encompass with this crop. We click the check mark. Photoshop does its work. And we've got, once again, a cropped and much more square image than we previously had. Well, that's all there is to the Perspective Crop Tool. It's a simple tool, but it does the job very effectively and very quickly. I'd encourage you to try it out. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of photography, Photoshop, and Lightroom tips and tricks there. You can follow me on Twitter at mhoffman2001, and you can find me on Google Plus by simply going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's tip.